I'll be picking a random subscriber that commented on this video and it should pop up right about now. Congrats, man, congrats. You just won $10 gold play card. Hey, what's cracking YouTube? This is Aiden bringing you another Genshin Impact video. If you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and leave a comment below, I'll be picking a random subscriber from the previous video, this video, and the next video, and give out $10 Google Play card. This video is about Xinyan Genshin Impact Build Guide coming right up. Xinyan can be a good support, especially if you have Razor or other physical DPS in your team. You can see how much damage my Razor is doing and the Razor video is coming up next, so stay tuned for that. Xin Yen can also be a main physical carry, and I will show you guys how to do just that in this video. Quickly going over Xin Yen's talents here. For the normal attack, she does four consecutive hits. It does scale pretty hard, a lot of damage on the fourth hit. For her E skill, she puts a shield out, and you're gonna have a fire effect within the character. You can switch out, the shield will be active, it's just gonna give a lot of defense and you can also do elemental reactions with it. Also does damage, you can hit multiple enemies and what you're looking to do with this E skill is you want to hit more than two enemies or three enemies. And you can see that the swing damage is going to be scaling pretty high. It's only level three, but later if it's like level six, level seven, going towards level eight, it will be doing pretty good amount of pyro damage and it's going to give pretty good defense with it. Her elemental burst ability is pretty unique in a sense that it's going to do very bursty physical damage. At level 6, it's going to be doing 477% and I'm going to show you guys how this can be so bursty and how it can do a lot of physical damage. It also does pyro damage around surrounding the enemy. It's not that much pyro damage but you can still do a lot of elemental reactions with it and the energy cost is only 60 so you can really spam this ability and another area that she's gonna really shine is her passive talent character shielded by sweeping fervor which is her e ability it's gonna deal additional 15 percent physical damage so she can increase this physical damage for herself and for a character like razor and you're expecting her to do insane physical damage or support another physical carry like Razor and have him do extra physical damage. If you've seen my Jean video guide, she, she will support my Jean to the maximum potential. For her artifacts, I am using my Razor's artifacts here. Just for the sake of this video, that's what she's going to be using. For the feather, it has attack, attack percent, crit damage, and crit rate. For the flower, it has HP, crit rate, crit damage. For the hourglass, attack percent, crit damage, and crit rate. For the cup, physical damage bonus, attack percent, crit rate, and attack. And for the helm, crit damage, and crit rate on it. Ideally, the best set for her is going to be the world plume because you really want her to spam her alt and also increase damage for all your characters. So I think the four set royal noblesse oblique set is going to be probably the best in my opinion. What you can do is you can also go two piece witch set, get that 15% bonus for the pyro and go for two piece bloodstain set and get that 25% physical damage. With her though, you're looking to do a lot of physical damage. So what you wanna do is you wanna amp up the physical damage. So you can go two piece bloodstain, two piece gladiator. You can go two piece bloodstain, two piece witch. You can go two piece royal set with two piece bloodstained. You can go two piece wonders troop set two and two piece gladiator. And if you have six constellation, it's a different situation. You're gonna be doing a lot of charge attack. And in that situation, you can go four piece set bloodstain. And lastly, to really put her into the best potential situation, if you're going to main DPS, physical DPS her, I feel like retracing Bolide is going to be the best artifact set for Xin Yan. For the constellation on my Xin Yan, I have two constellation on her. For the first condition allows her to have increased attack speed on the normal and charge attack which is pretty good if you're looking to physical dps on her for the second constellation though this is where she actually really shined you're looking to do a lot of physical damage with her ult and not only that the second constellation is going to allow her to do 100 percent crit and i'll show you guys how you can do insane damage with her ult coming right up the fourth constellation is nice because it's going to decrease 
enemies physical resistance by 15%, giving that additional buff on her support roll. Her 6 constellation is going to be nice because it's going to increase Xenia's charge attack by 30% and get additional bonus equal to 50% of her defense. So I feel like with her 6 constellation, her playstyle is going to dramatically change. You're going to be looking to do a lot of charge attack with her. So this is when the artifact sets and the best artifacts for her is going to change. But getting 6 constellation is going to be pretty hard. You're going to be spending a lot of money. Now as for attributes, she has 35% crit rate, 181% crit damage, and 83% physical damage bonus. And she's at level 70. The weapon that I'm going to use in this video is going to be the Wolf's Greystone level 90. And as for her talents, she has 2 level on the normal attack, getting extra 1 buff from child, level 3 E, and level 6 Q. Quickly going over the best weapon for Zing Ling, I feel like the Wolf's Greystone is going to be one of the best weapons. The Unforged obviously is going to be probably the best weapon because it's going to increase shield strength by 20%. Skyward Pride is going to be a great option because it's going to have high base attack, it's going to have energy recharge, and you're going to be able to spam her ult. Sacrificial Greystone is a great 4 star weapon because it has energy recharge and you're going to be looking to constantly have the E skill up at all times so you're going to be protected by the shield most of the time and you're going to be spamming her ult. Black Clip Slash is going to be a good option because it has crit damage and her second constellation allows her to do 100% crit on the elemental burst ability so black cliff is going to be a great option serpent spine is going to be a great option as well because it has crit rate and she's going to be under effect of the shield and that means she's going to have increased damage of this weapon most of the time or all the time now if you're looking to main dps Xin Yan, then this four star weapon the pro tab animus which is free to play friendly is going to be the best option i say that because she's going to be doing normal or charge attacks and she's gonna deal additional 480% attack damage and I feel like Proto Animus is going to be the best 4 star if you're going to main DPS physical carry Xin Yan. As you guys can see adventure rank I'm at 51 or level 7. Xin Yan is only level 70 her normal and her E level is not even that high it's only level 3 and 2. I'm gonna show the potential DPS with Xin Yan real quickly. So her normal attack, it does pretty good decent damage, right? And with her E, what you want to do is you want to hit multiple enemies at once. Okay, I did it. Okay, with her auto, you can do a lot of damage, right? So what you want to do is you want to apply super conduct. And with her alt, it's just going to do 100% crit because of the second constellation. And her normal attack is pretty decent. Imagine if her normal attack is fully maxed out. I'm going to showcase Xin Yan's damage potential in Dance of Steel Dungeon. So what you want to do is you want to apply Super Conduct. Okay. And her ult just at 55,000 damage. That's pretty insane. Now I'm going to eat delicious jade parcels okay i'm gonna eat this food just to show you guys the damage potential of xin yan in the dance of steel dungeon so always look to do super conduct okay 62,000 damage now i'm gonna show you guys the support build for xin yan real quickly for the feather i'm using blasting feather Getting the attack, crit damage, energy recharge, and attack percent. For the flower, I'm using witch set. Getting the HP, attack percent, crit damage, energy recharge, and attack. For the hourglass, I'm using the witch time. Getting the energy recharge, crit damage, and elemental mastery. For the cup, I'm using physical damage bonus, witch set. Getting the attack percent, elemental mastery. And for the helm, I'm using the bloodstain set. Crit damage, attack percent, energy recharge, and crit rate on it. I'm getting the Crimson Witch set, 2 piece bonus, and 2 piece Bloodstain set, 2 piece bonus. And for the weapon, I'm using Black Cliff, getting the crit damage, and it's level 80. For this part of the video, I'm gonna showcase Xin Yan's support build, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use her E, 
switch to someone like Razor, okay? And he's now gonna be defensive and he's gonna do more damage on the normal attack. So she can be an excellent support for Razor. Um, she can be support for other characters I'm gonna go after this. She can be a good support for other characters as well. So that's what I'm gonna be doing real quickly. One of the best weapon for support Xingning is going to be this Sacrificial Grey Sword. Now this sword is going to allow Xingning to continuously use E ability and hence it's going to allow her Q to be back up much quickly. You can, proc you can use the E ability, switch to someone like Jean and she's going to do additional physical damage while being protected as well. You can, when the shield is over, you can switch back to Xingning use the shield again and then switch back to Jean and just do a lot of physical damage. You can do that with Razor, you can do it with any hero. This weapon is going to be probably one of the best support weapon. Might not be the best support weapon, but it's going to be one of the best support weapon. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can do just that here. So again, proc the shield, switch to Jean and just do massive physical DPS, right? Shield is gone, well don't worry because you can now shield it back again, right? Switch to Jean to massive physical DPS. Okay. Shield is gone, don't worry, go back, use the Q. Now you're shielded again. Jean can do more massive physical DPS. So with this support build, I feel like you're just utilizing the shield and you're gonna be spamming the alt. So now you know, someone like Jean or someone like Razor is just going to be doing additional physical damage and this is why Xin Yan is so OP support. Xin can be very OP, she fits into almost any team composition. In my opinion, that makes her one of the best support or physical carries in the game. You're going to need one of your characters to do a lot of physical damage and if you're missing that, she can be you know one of your main physical carries or if you have Razor or someone like Jean and you're physical carrying the team then she can be the main carry for Razor or someone like Jean also you know with Xin Yan I only played her for a day and I only played around with her for a day and more videos on Xin Yan is coming up my next video is gonna be on Razor I feel like my Razor is really OP at the moment he is super carrying it Again with Razor, also I only had a day to play around with him, but he is super insane and I'm going to showcase why Razor is one of the best characters in Genshin Impact on the next video coming up. Thanks for watching this video guys, I'm Aiden and I'm out. Peace!